Guys, my name is uh, Rage, and today we're going to be doing a Q deck game. Now, what is Q? Q is a, uh, a strategy deck builder uh, where you face off against other opponents in leagues, or you can face off against AI and other players in casual. Uh, there's many albums that you can choose from, so if your thing is science, you can go and play with a science deck, and you can play with... Uh, you know, what if the Model, 5, Model Model 500 telephone went against the Pacific Trash Vortex? You know, that's a cool combo. So that's um, that's pretty much what the game is. So we are going to be playing a casual game today, showing off my favorite combos. We're going to be using our ramp deck, which I'll show you guys when we get in there, ramp deck. Uh, basically, that means we're going to be stacking cards on cards, and we're going to be going for the the eggs in the basket combo, which is the egg nebula, the um, horned shark egg, and we're also going to be going for the, uh, I believe, dino eggs. And we're going to try to buff those as much as we can or ramp them with jade, testudo formation, and um, the. And uh, Terracotta Card Army, excuse me. And we actually did lift off into space there, so that is going to be cool. And we just. And we actually drew some of the cards that we're looking for, so that's going to help us. Oh, we need to save Testudo form until we get all the cards we want in our hand, so we probably will sacrifice an early few rounds here. Let's get Corgi on the phone here. There he is. I actually like Corgi, um, but I think an English Bull Mastiff would be really cool to be added to the game, you know. Uh, that's his preference. I have an English downstairs, and he's really cute. Uh, okay, so we're going to play the Bulldog. We're going to cycle cards until we get what we want. A lot of people are chasing Thor in the game, and they did just add in the uh, Norse mythology. So if you're new to the game and you like Ragnarok and you like Thor and you want to play with Norse mythology, that's that's your now's your time to join. Um, so we are going to play GPS there and cycle that. Uh, they they are going to get us here in the early round, but it's all right. Uh, probably a bad move playing GPS there, but we will actually see one of my favorite things up next: the oceans. Uh, as you can see, where are under here and um we are starting we need to get rid of that and we need to hopefully get our calendars here we need to get the eggs so we will charles limber he's a new guy too they released him last week with the uh the new the leagues it was um aviation themed and there we go we're gonna hopefully get our heart and soul combo here next if we draw it but uh hopefully we get some luck here so saint bernard goes and we're going to draw the christ redeemer that's going to be good for us uh, we probably should play jade but we kind of we probably should have played him with the telephone but we kind of got hosed there because i wasn't thinking uh, we are actually having a really good run right now uh, i've been attempting this the last few times and has not been too successful but we're going to lose this round hopefully we can we need to pull out a win here to keep the game alive um so i probably will need to play there's Raph, and we're probably going to need to wait for the heart and soul combo before we can play Jade. That's just how it's going to have to be. So let's, all right, we got to, we going to win with Raph, and we're going to hopefully get the heart and soul here. Nope, we're going to draw Martin, but I think that'll might, think that might do it. So let's throw them in there. Hope for the best. He's going to play one card. Let's not hope for Bonnie and Clyde. All right, good deal. We got the Jolly Rogers. So we're going to take the round and we're going to apply some buffs to our cards and let's hopefully deal in now this may be the run hang on let's see so we got eggs and we're gonna we're gonna get art and soul there's that um all right we got round three of three so that's going to be in the next round so if we play the oh that's not going to be that's going to be tough that is going to be a doozy hang on so for for the rest of the round we're going to need to win with this so soul soul's going to go in there and we're going to win we're going to keep this we're going to keep the game alive Ooh, that's a nail biter. <laughs> All right, so uh, hopefully we get our card here, and we're gonna get a history buff here, so that's gonna help us. Uh, and that's not gonna work, so we're not gonna get the terracotta army, but we will probably be, we will deal in, we will deal in testudo form for the buff, so that way we will get a some level of buff here. Uh, we will actually not cycle in terracotta army because we're gonna need it. So let's. That's going to be a bit unfortunate, but still it's going to be a good combo nonetheless. So let's let's work with what we have here. So slow but strong. We're going to apply that. That's going to be good for us. And we will actually take advantage of... There it is. That's our combo that we're looking for. And look at that. So we will actually, uh, barring any 
We're not gonna. I don't see any debuffs in the in this future. So we're gonna play this and look how nice. Look how good that ghost card is. So this is what you can do with ramp decks. You can really, you know, if you get to pseudo form. But we're gonna need to play that. I think just because I don't want to. Uh, yeah, this ends this round. So we're good there. Yeah, we're good. So let's play this and let's just let's just like I don't. I mean, a hundred ghost. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to play a ghost. But I mean. I mean, it's just really good, just how that works for us there. Just a really decent card. And we actually draw... So now, this is what ramp decks do. We're going to lose 18 power there. That sucks. Um, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump this in there, and look at that combo. That's a 426. Uh, or, excuse me, a four, yeah, 426. Sorry. And, um, yeah, we're going to steal around here with the eggs in one basket combo with the ramp deck. Now, it could be, it gets up to 500 if we did have the Terracotta Army in there and we didn't have any debuffs, but we'll take what we can get. So we're going to easily steal the round from Tico Man here, and we're going to beat him up in the Paleontology round. So we have a final card game here. So we have a decent card game. We're going to dump Corgi in there and uh, boost our doggy cards up a little bit. And uh, this is the power of a ramp deck. If you have decent cards in the ramp deck, you can really uh, add uh, low energy cards. Can really become high value power cards. So it's really it really pays to um, sacrifice the early rounds to get a decent redeal. Look at that of uh, one oh one uh, eight hundred and five. Uh, excuse me, eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred five to two fourteen. So we're gonna play our telephone. We're gonna play GPS. We're just gonna get into position again. And uh, I think that we're gonna take the game here uh, unless they dump our eggs in one basket combo right back on us but you never know so we're gonna take that uh saint bernard here we're gonna get Raphael. we're not, we didn't actually get our heart and soul combo this game which kind of upsets me but that's kind of a staple in everyone's deck i feel like that's a decent card that's a decent combo to have in your deck the heart nebula and the soul nebula gives you and i usually play that with jade to activate it so that's going to be good and we will actually take the round here from tickle man and that is going to be gg for tickle man let's go ahead and throw a good game at him even though it's an ai you got to treat the ai with some respect and we actually did do some dailies and that's actually good because that's how you earn some gems too and we can actually watch an ad to get more gems that's going to do it for today guys thank you for watching and please leave a like on the video i appreciate it